I think this will probably go down in history as one of, if not the largest financial crimes ever. I cannot imagine a scenario where $8 billion just disappears. They use QuickBooks, a multi-billion dollar company using QuickBooks. Sam Bankman-Fried has been arrested in the Bahamas. Bankman-Fried has pled not guilty to multiple fraud charges. Very few people want to go on the record saying anything bad about Sam or about FTX. Sam was just too important in the crypto community. He was negotiating directly with politicians, with world leaders. When someone says, I'm going to give a billion dollars in the next two years, like that catches everybody's attention. He was not only one of the richest people in the world, he was a young rich person. He was like a really interesting kind of new sort of philanthropist. And so effective altruism becomes this like, essentially a community of people that mostly develops online, and it's about giving as much money as possible in the most effective way. I got involved in the EA community in college, and it's been a really big part of how I've decided what to do with my life. As time went on, their ideas got like weirder and weirder. They started worrying about apocalypses. Like killer robots. We need to stop AI from killing us. And that's the kind of effective altruism that Sam Bankman-Fried believes. Like if you don't save the world because you were too worried about what the Securities and Exchange Commission might think, like maybe that makes you a bad person. I don't think he even had almost a conception at some point that it was wrong or right. I think he just had the mentality that he has to win. It was almost like trying to explain like business ethics 101 to a baby. Sam has basically become a villain in everyone's minds. This committee will not stop until we uncover the full truth behind the collapse of FTX. Sue, so, Mark. Are you in? I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. We're in. Will this be the last of its kind? No, this is the nature of capitalism. Get over it.